High up in the mountains of Scenaria, there lives a young male Kriprik. He seems to be returning from a long night out with the lads. As you can see, he's very drunk. His perception of time right now is incredibly flawed and he likely doesn't know if it's day or night. It seems that drugs and partying are traditions that the Kriprik has kept from its human origins. While it may be hard to spot at first, the Kriprik is quite closely related to the human. It is thought that the Kriprik evolved from hill folk, who were so isolated from the rest of the world that they resorted to cannibalism, which led to a genetic mutation. While this story is heavily disputed, there remains a very real evolutionary link between the Kriprik and the human. The Kriprik usually stands at around 6 feet tall at the shoulder and has a neck length of up to 5 feet. Around 5 meters in length, the Kriprik is much larger than a human. After a little bit of trouble figuring out which nest belongs to him, the Kriprik finally lays down to sleep for the night. Or day. He doesn't really know. The next morning, there is a visitor. The Tinook. Plowing through the land looking for his next meal, the Tinook is an apex predator of the tundra and mountain regions. Luckily for our Kriprik, he will be ignored as he is too small for the Tinook to see him as prey. The Kriprik senses a disturbance in his domain and exits the den to look at the intruder. The Tinook is not a threat to the Kriprik, but despite this, the Kriprik feels threatened. This Kriprik seems to be exceptionally territorial. This is rather unusual behavior for the Kriprik, and it seems rather likely that he is acting aggressively because of his hangover. The Kriprik approaches the Tinook and displays his aggressive behavior, hoping to scare the predator away from his territory. The Tinook seems unbothered. In comparison to the Tinook, the Kriprik's size is rather underwhelming. The Tinook seems to agree. After a few good minutes of this, the Tinook becomes mildly irritated by the Kriprik and starts to back away. But the Kriprik advances. It vocalizes an inches closer, all tactics used to strike fear into its opponent. The Tinook and the Kriprik have a final standoff at the edge of the mountain. Eventually, the Tinook gets bored of this and realizes that arguing is a waste of time and energy. With one last frustrated swing of his tusks, he turns and runs away. The Kriprik, now with an inflated ego and sense of masculinity, dances to celebrate his victory. A few days later, a female Kriprik is seen moving into the area. She has recently parted with her mother and is now looking to claim territory of her own. She heard about this apartment complex on the property web and has decided to move in. The male leaves his den to meet his new neighbor. While territorial, the male senses that this Kriprik is female and therefore a potential mate. In an attempt to impress her, the male invites her over for dinner. With a bit of hesitation, she accepts. The two Kriprik have dinner together and vocalize in a friendly conversation. The female attempts to get to know the male. The male attempts to impress the female with a courting dance routine. Unfortunately for him, his moves are considered utterly pathetic. After watching him for a few long minutes, the female decides she is not interested in him and returns to her nest. Disappointed, the male follows her home so he can try again. She is not happy about this. Angered by her lack of interest in him, the male starts insulting her. This male is what's known as an incel. Someone who cannot under any circumstances find a mate. The female insults him back and the argument escalates to violence. The male is so enraged that he attacks the female, causing her to chase after him. A gruesome battle ensues, with the female surprising him with her speed and strength. The male, fearing for his life, flees from his territory. Mortally wounded, he crawls into the first cave he sees. But it seems that this cave already has an owner. The Tenuk. It seems to remember him from earlier. The Tenuk stands in the cave, putting on an aggressive show towards the Kriprik. He slowly approaches the wounded creature, hoping to prolong its suffering as much as possible. The Tenuk roars at the Kriprik, waking him from his rest. The Kriprik backs away, far too weak to escape. He watches in absolute terror as the Tenuk hisses and stamps his feet. This is a very angry cat. 
Eventually, the Cryptic sets down and accepts his fate. The Tainuk executes him, bashing him repeatedly against the wall of the cave. This is what an execution looks like in Scenario. The Tainuk exits the cave with its kill, seeming pleased with itself. It puts on a celebratory dance before consuming the Cryptic's carcass.